Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm sharing a kitchen basic and showing you how to roast cauliflower. This easy roasted cauliflower recipe is simple, delicious, flexible, and super family friendly. So do me a favor, if you enjoy clean and delicious recipes just like this, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new recipe. So to get started, I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 204 degrees Celsius. And here on my rimmed baking sheet, I'm just gonna spray it down with a little bit of cooking spray just to make sure nothing sticks. Probably not 100% necessary since I am putting a little bit of oil on the cauliflower as well, but I just wanted to play it safe. Now, a lot of you ask me how I keep my rimmed baking sheets so clean. I actually have two different sets of rimmed baking sheets. One I save for my baking, my cookies, etc. And the other couple I use for roasting vegetables like this at high heat temperatures because eventually they do get browned and a little bit beat up. They build their character, which is totally fine because those are the pans I use and depend on for roasting my veggies. However, if you prefer, you could line your baking sheet with some parchment paper that would both protect the pan and make for easy cleanup. I just find that the veggies get a little bit crispier when they cook directly on the pan, which is why I like to do it this way. So here I have one head of cauliflower that I'm gonna cut into florets. And the easiest and neatest way to work with cauliflower is to start at the base. So trim off the green bottom and then just pull off any extra leaves that stayed behind. And then in the center is the core. So I'm just gonna take my paring knife, cut around the core, you're going around and down, and then just pull it right out of the center. Then you can cut each florette off and working from the stem up, I'll cut it in two to three pieces depending on how big the florette is. So you just cut up the stem and then pull it apart and you'll have these perfect little florets. The idea is to keep them relatively uniform in size. This way they all cook at the same rate. Once I've got my cauliflower ready to go, I'll just transfer it onto the prepared baking sheet, drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Then I season it with kosher salt, about a half teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Gently toss this all together until all of the cauliflower is lightly coated in the oil and the spices. Now this flavor combo is such a simple go-to favorite of mine because it will never let you down, but if you wanted to add more flavor, now would be a great time to play. You could add a teaspoon or two of curry powder, Italian seasoning, Old Bay seasoning, lemon pepper, really anything you have on hand, anything you love, this would be the time to do it. I'm gonna place this in the oven and bake anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes or until the cauliflower is lightly golden over the top, nice and tender and has a deep golden crispy brown bottom. Now, you have the option to flip the cauliflower halfway through, but I like to leave it on one side the whole time. This way you get that really deep color and that crispy texture on the bottom of the cauliflower. Once your cauliflower is done cooking, you've got a couple options. You can certainly serve it just the way it is, simple and delicious. You could give it a squish of fresh lemon over the top along with some fresh chopped parsley. That is a really bright and delicious way to serve this. Or you could do my personal favorite way, add a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese over the top, place it back in the oven for a couple of minutes so that cheese has melted, and you will have the most delicious cheesy roasted cauliflower bites, which by the way, pair perfectly with my baked chicken thighs or with my cast iron salmon. Delicious, simple weeknight meal. So as always, so many options, so little time. Which one do you think you'll try first? I would love to hear. Come on down to the comments below and please do share. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.